Hello there, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey, coming to you once again from the basement. I wanted to talk a little bit about hockey passing technique today. Passing is one of those things in hockey that can really make or break a team. I've seen a lot of times where teams have really good individual skills, their players are fast, they have nice hands, but if, you know, if that defenseman can't make the first breakout pass, or if your forwards are bobbling pucks trying to receive the passes, uh, you know, it can really throw your team for a loop. So passing technique is one of the most important ways to become uh, you know, an effective team and a good all-around hockey player. So here are a few tips for, for passing technique in hockey. There are three main keys. I usually like to break skills down into threes. It usually helps the players to remember uh, you know, remember what they're trying to do and that way they can think through it step by step and it's, it's concise. Things in threes are for some reason easier to remember. So there's three main keys that I usually like to tell my guys for effective hockey passing. First and foremost, and this is usually the first step of most skills, uh, is you gotta have your knees bent. So the player's gotta be in a good ready position. This allows them to be stable and will facilitate that pass to be able to receive as well as give a good pass. The second key is probably the basic foundation of good hockey passing is the cushion and sweep. Uh, I like to always remind my players, cushion the puck when you receive it and sweep the puck when you give it. Uh, that helps to keep the puck flat. It's a lot better, uh, a lot easier to uh, control. Control hard passes, control soft passes, control a bobbling puck. Uh, usually if a player is effective at cushioning and sweeping the puck, they'll receive the puck better as well as give better passes. Now, um, I have heard, have had players and other coaches ask me, uh, you know, but in a game, you know, I pay attention to the pros and in a game, you hardly ever see a player cushion the puck, um, you know, or, the, or then sweep it. It's usually, you know, it's usually snap the puck and, um, you know, a lot of times it hits with a hard stick. Uh, there are, there is a time and a place for, you know, for a one-touch pass and in the pros, the pace is so fast that usually that's how it goes. Um, but I still recommend as you're teaching passing, teach the players the proper way with the cushion and sweep pass and then you know usually once they've got that mastered during the game situation if they need to adjust to a one touch pass or if the situation calls for you know harder hands rather than soft hands they can make those adjustments but having that good foundation of cushion and sweep is is essential in my opinion so that's the second step the third step is to have an effective weight transfer while giving and receiving the pass. So as the pass is coming in, that weight should transfer to the back foot. As they're giving the pass, the weight should transfer again to the front foot. Uh, similar to when they're taking a wrist shot, except obviously this is you know, a sweet pass, so we wanna keep it on the ice. So those are the three main keys. Keep your knees bent, cushion and sweep, and then have that effective weight transfer, which helps control that puck, especially on the harder passes. So how do we teach this progression, or how do we teach proper passing? Usually whenever we're developing skills, uh, whether it's a new skill or reinforcing an old skill, I'll usually do uh, progression of drills, meaning start simple, make sure that everybody's got the very basic foundation of the skill, and then we'll add more complicated steps to it. Um, so a good progression for passing is I'll usually like to start with stationary passing, meaning that each player is standing, you know, and usually I'll have them start close together and then widen that distance as they, you know, as, as we go through, um, you know, a 10 minute period of stationary passing. So the players will stand close together, focusing mainly on those three keys, proper knee bend, good cushion and sweep, as well as the, you know, the weight transfer. Once they get to the point where they can zing the pass, you know, back and forth, back and forth, um, you know, 10 or 15 times in a row without missing, then widen that gap. So widen your players until you're, basically until you're going the full width of the ice. Um, stationary passing, you know, and, and obviously these things apply to forehand passes as well as backhand passes. So have your players working on, on both. The technique and foundation of passing is the same for backhand. You still want to have the good knee bend, you still want to use the cushion and sweep, and you still want to have that effective weight transfer. So start with stationary passing. Once your players have gotten the hang of that, um, go ahead and implement a, a passing drill that keeps their feet moving. Okay, and one thing that I want you to make sure to stress as you're moving on to the next step is that the technique doesn't change. So now just because your feet are moving doesn't mean you're gonna stand up straight. Or it doesn't mean that all of a sudden you go from soft hands to hard hands. Technique stays the same. The only thing that's changing is the fact that your feet are moving. Okay, so we'll implement a, uh, a passing drill with feet moving. 
and not letting your players change their technique. Uh, after they get the hang of that, then we'll have a more complex passing and timing drill. So now not only are the players worrying about making and receiving a good pass, uh, but they've also got to time it as well. So this starts getting into more of a game simulation. After we get to the point where the players are you know, very effective and you know, running through these flow drills pretty consistently and pretty well, then we can start adding some passing under pressure drills. And these are where it comes, you know, two on ones or, you know, breakout four check type drills where you're putting, your pl putting a little bit of pressure on players, which again simulates game situation and forces them to be able to not only make the pass using proper skill and technique, but do it under pressure, under the pressure of a, of a real life game situation. So these are the keys. And what we're going to do now is go ahead, there are a couple of small clips, video clips, um, some of myself, some of other videos that I just wanted to show that, that uh, you know, really outline and show this proper technique. Okay, this is a quick clip taken from a video that I helped work on a few years ago called 101 Hockey Tips. It is produced by Hockey Player Magazine. And the, the clip is just basically showing a, a good cushion and sweep uh, with me and Mark Ostabo. Uh, he's the one in the yellow jacket there. So what Mark's going to do here, we'll just go ahead and start it. Brings it back, bends his knees as we talked about, and there's a good, uh, good little weight transfer there. You can see he went from his back foot to his front foot, has a good follow through. And uh, as you can see, I'm about ready to pick up the puck there in the, in the distance there. My stick is out in front of me, which is going to give me plenty of room to have a, a good space for a cushion. And as the puck comes in, in fact, let's see if we can go step by step here. As the puck comes in, you can see that my stick cradles the puck, and my weight transfers from my front foot to my back foot. Now, a proper cushion sets you up in perfect position for a proper sweep. So as you're doing your cushion and sweep, one motion leads to another, and the cushion and sweep can actually become one motion. So here's what it looks like. We'll keep walking it forward. So now I'm in good position for a sweep. And as the puck comes forward, again, a good follow through, a little bit of a weight transfer, and the puck comes back. Now again, Mark's got his stick out in front of him, which will allow him to have plenty of room for a good solid cushion. So that's what the cushion and sweep looks like, again, in slow motion. Um, and uh, we'll go ahead and show one more clip, and then that'll be it. Okay, here's the final clip here. This is taken from the Team Canada Skills of Gold video series. That's from Hockey Canada. And again, it just shows the stationary passing cushion and sweep. Cushion, sweep using basically the same technique that we talked about. Notice the players have nice knee bend, transferring their weight from front foot to back foot, and always having that cushion and sweep. Let's go one more here. Cushion, sweep. And then to finish off, here is just an example of how you can take it from stationary passing into passing with your feet moving. And obviously, you know, as you go, you'll get more and more complex with these drills. But like I said, this is to show you what the technique will look like. Notice their technique isn't changing. They're still cushioning, still sweeping. Cushion and sweep, cushion and sweep. Working on keeping their feet moving while they're giving and receiving those passes.